Great. Well, it's wonderful to be here. And thank you for having me. This is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. I'm really an emergency doctor. And GDV or bloat is one of the really big diseases that's a very classic emergency disease. And it's also one of those diseases that comes with a lot of questions. And so I'm going to kind of take us through what we know, kind of what we wish we knew. And um, a big thanks to the Canine Health Foundation to really make all of this possible and for everybody out there who has and loves dogs. Our overview is uh, pathophysiology and treatment of GDV. Um, what do we know about the genetic aspects? And the big time bottom line is that um, GDV is not going to be a disease that we can cure simply by um, one quick breeding or getting rid of one sire or something along those lines. There's a lot of different things that go into that, and we'll try to touch on some of those. I also want to talk about why some dogs that do develop GDV do poorly, so why they don't survive um, or why they have long-term complications talk about our preventative measures, including a surgical gastropexy, which is probably the only measure that has definitive evidence that it's beneficial, and then talk about some of the current challenges, ongoing research, and some of our possible targets. 